Steve Rayson, you've got a new project coming, Anders yeah. Pink. Anders Pink's my new project. <laughs> What's it about? It's, about, it's basically um, how you stay updated. I long have this view that we all get obsolete, and we can get obsolete really fast. In fact, arguably, you wake up dumber than you went to bed. Because new stuff has happened, you didn't know about it, so you wake up dumber than you went to bed. So how do you stay informed, how do you stay brief? So basically producing a tool which just gives you a briefing every morning. It's quite sophisticated, you, it searches the web, it uses partly by Sumo, you can use RSS feeds, what people like you are sharing. So I can set up some sophisticated briefings, but more importantly then my team can style them, comment on them. So each morning I can see what my team are like. And just, I didn't invite you, there's just so much to read every morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's what, what's important, if I see my team style it, that's probably important to me. So we're really trying to address that issue of you know, what do you decide to read every morning? How do you stay briefed on any topic, whether it's Google Plus or IP litigation? But it's not, it's, this is the thing, it's not, you, you could use it for social media updates yeah. and that sort of thing, but actually it's all of the other verticals. Suddenly, yeah. it, any, it, it, anything, it's, anything so you're saying about, updated. yeah. So let's look at a few examples. Let's look at finance through to HR yeah. through to uh, what uh, yeah, there's, I mean loads I mean so HR the people keep on say recruitment best practice okay or, or HR legislation you know new legislation yeah. all the time that you've got to keep abreast of so it, it really works for people in knowledge areas really but that could be something social media keeping up with Google Plus it could be I'm a lawyer keeping up with the latest IP cases on copyright infringement or something like that yeah yeah or it could be health so it doesn't really matter what it is but each team or sort of cohort has a need to step to date with stuff. So yeah. Um, so that's what I'm trying to address. So and, and you are and and, and we, we I, I had a demo of the out there. You, you know, I I think you want something. It's a new way of e-learning. Yeah, it's in a way. formal learning. Yeah. Really. It's a, I mean, everyone goes formal learning. So if you're in a in a corporate, you do formal training. You have to do training courses, etc. Yeah. Um, but actually, all the evidence, there's lots of studies now showing that people actually learn mainly informally. So yes, I learn when I go on a course, but I learn when I talk to you, I learn when I read an article in the morning, etc. So it's really a platform to try and help informal learning, and what I would call social learning, which is social learning is you know what are my friends sharing, what are they commenting, so you know how do I really accept my obligation to that community to share back, to comment, etc. So, yeah. yeah. Um, see, I'm a great believer in social learning and informal learning, so that's that's what it's about. So we'll see. We're going to launch it by the summer. So. Perfect. Well, hopefully, when everybody sees it, this launched and everyone's yeah, now yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah. So. Go to anderspink.com. Anderspink.com. Yeah, you can sign up for the beta, and the beta will be out in a week or so, so you can then start having a play with the beta, which should be fun. I'm going to put you in a group. I've already agreed, Mark Schaefer, Leo, and you, they're all going in a group yeah. together. So I can see yeah. what you're sharing, what you're commenting, whether you're actually going to share and things like that. So, cool. Yeah, no, it should be fun, I think. So, I Excellent. So. Anderspink.com. Anderspink, yeah, nice and straightforward. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Steve. Good stuff. That's good. Good.